Hey everyone, it's Katie from Bobby Hair Studio, and I'm about to show you how I put in all of my foils for all of my highlight clients. This isn't only the pattern that I use, which sometimes I vary on the pattern, but this is the tricks that I use to make sure that my foils all process at the same time. I'm going to start with my developers. If you're not leveling up your developers as you go, this could be one of your big mistakes. I start with a seven volume by Blonde Me, and as I go, I add in bits to each bowl of 20 volume until eventually, in the last section of foils, I'm only using 20 volume. This is the number one thing that you should be doing if you want to level up your foiling. Now I'm going to be showing you my pattern for this client. What I did was I started from the nape of her neck and I moved up towards the crown. The back is split into two sections where I do left and right, and I'm usually able to foil through this area pretty quickly. This area is separate from the crown of the head because that will be done later. These foils here were all done with a bowl of seven volume and blonde me. Then when I moved over onto my next sections, I added in a bit of seven volume and 20 together. My next section is always the side of the head. I'm able to foil through that pretty quickly, and I do one side and then the other, and then I move over onto the top of the head. When I start the top of the head, I start from the crown and I move my way forward towards the front. This is because the crown gets a lot of heat so it processes really quickly, but also the front is very fragile hair and it's more spaced apart so it's gonna process very fast and it's very uh, prone to breakage. So I don't wanna have the foiling in there for too long. I'm also utilizing my drops to make sure that wherever my last section was done, I'm using my drops to cover over it to insulate better. So you can tell that this side that I've worked on right here was the side to go in before I put in the other side. So I put in the left side of her head first and then the right side. When I'm foiling and I'm doing the roots, I never use a full scoop at one time. I use a half a scoop because that's going to be about 15 minutes of foil time and that's going to be the time that I need to refresh my bowl. So if you're doing roots, just do half a scoop at a time. This area right here is the crown and it gets really, really hot. So when you first start putting in your foils along the crown, always make sure to put them a little bit further down than you would think rather than going super close to the scalp because they are going to shift a little bit. Once I'm done working on the crown, I work towards the front as I was telling you earlier. And instead of leaving my foils the way I've put them in, I've actually separated them halfway through the middle once I've done putting them in. And then that way, the middle area, which has been in for a little bit longer, gets to cool off. And the area which I put in last, which is this peach foil right here, gets to catch up because it's being insulated by those foils that I've already been processing. I hope that this makes sense, but it evens things out because I flipped over those older foils onto the newer foils so they can keep the new foils nice and warm. The ones around the face do process really quickly, but if you have your last foil in and it's just not processing fast enough and it's staying orange, this is probably one of the things that can help you to speed up your foiling time. Everything else is warm, everything else is insulated, everything else has been in there for so much longer, this is a great way to speed things up. So this is me checking my last foil from my top section to my last foil from the front section, which I finished with. And you can see that they are lifted perfectly and they are lifted to the same level. This is because of the insulation that I created rather than having one of them be white blonde and the other one still be orange because that's honestly the worst thing that can happen when you're foiling. Now it's time to rinse out my client and what you can see is that my top foils haven't actually been folded in on the sides. Only the foils around the face on the sides and down the back have been folded in on the sides. And the reason of that being is it's so much faster to cut that out in areas that you know that your foils won't slip. So areas like on the very top of the head where the foils are sitting on top of each other rather than at an angle where they can get heated and slip and cause some bleeding, then this is actually a great way to speed up your timing is just to fold in half the one time. It also allows you to fit in more foils because there's less bulk happening. If you keep your bowls fresh, they should be faster to process. If you have old bowls of lightener, they're gonna take so much longer to get the lift that you want. So these are the best tips that I can give you. Fresh bowls, thin sections, and always make sure that your saturation is really good. Along with the tips that I gave you with how to pattern your foils and to make sure that you're using the insulation and the heat of the head to your advantage, not to your disadvantage. Take these things and apply them to your clients and let me know how you feel in the comments, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Have a great day.